This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. here at the campus of Hartford Community College at the APG FCU Arena and the B Conference Championship and the 24th MIA Championships the Gerstel Academy Falcons I'm trying to repeat as B Conference champions are at a record of 19 and 13 and they'll be going up against St. Paul's the Crusaders top seed wins the tiebreaker as they beat Oh, excuse me, Gustav, both meetings, 19 and 8. Both teams got here. Gustav beating Archbishop Curley on Thursday. Severin was defeated by St. Paul's by 10. Here we go. And the tip-off goes to the Falcons there in their road. Blue jerseys. Carpenter back over to Noble. We haven't seen Gustav since January. And talk to Coach Thompson for the game the schedule. Have prepped them big time for this one today. That jumper goes a stall for Harrison. Very loaded team and the rumor in the window is if Gerstel win this one today, the A Conference could be calling the Crusaders in the magnificent season. Big wins against Gerstel. Mordorf to Ziggy Reed, way downtown, front end miss. Back comes the Falcons, Harrison, Carpenter. Inside the shot goes in for Tyler Tilly. Early 4 0 lead for the Falcons.
That's the three in the corner. Tipped and missed. Over the back foul. Last two champions of the B Conference as St. Paul trying to get that something. That one tipped and missed. Rebound back over. Pick City! Harrison! All the way! Stanton pulls back. And sets it up. Carpenter. Tiller. At the free throw line. Tipped and missed. Reed with the rebound. And over to Smaldorf. Three, trucking in, blocked from behind by Tilly, and the ball's gonna stay with the Crusaders. Back over to Smaldorf. Kelly, back over. Inside, the shot goes in for Troy Bartholomew. St. Paul's on the board at 4 to 2. Carpenter. Stanton. Back over inside of glass. Missed it. And it's going to go to the Crusaders. They get it back. Crusaders in their white jerseys. Home team jerseys. And this is the middle game of three here on the Dodge Lane Up for today. It's evening time now. Swings it. Pull up, hits it. Miles Moore with the two. We're even at four. In APG, FCU Arena. Drive off the glass and in. Harrison with four to six points for Gustel. Two point lead for the Falcons. Almost at the halfway mark here in the first. Jump first, Bender. The other way. Reversal goes in for Staten. Burke at it! Long distance three! Boy, Bartholomew again! 8 7 game. Here for Gerstel. Noble doubled. He traveled. Yep, walking. And the ball back to the Crusaders, St. Paul. St. Paul girls last week winning the IAMB Conference Championship. And the ball off the knee and a turnover right back. And then Gus Carroll gets it back. Inside pull up jumper goes there for Staten. He has four quick. Let's tell trying to repeat. And Paul's trying to get this second in three years. Turnover, Carpenter with it. Layup is good. 
Well, seven games. Back over the ball. I mean, that one's high. That one didn't go. Out of bounds. Gets it back in. That's the three from the sophomore. That one tips in. Anthony Smoto. Conference team. And we said St. Paul's beat Gertel twice in the regular season. Just in case you're missing the day, can you do it the third time? That's against a tiny team like this Gertel team. That's a three. Front end miss. Offensive rebound. Harrison trying to drive the baseline. Harrison real close. Oh, that was a tough, tough one. That hits Ziggy Reed right near his eye. Reed try to get himself together. That's five seconds. Well, unforced error there. And St. Paul's get the ball back, try to tie it at two. One forty-seven here left in the first. Very high pace one so far between these two big conference schools. Um, Almost the back door opened up. That's long distance. Tipped and missed there by Trotta. Right in the air. Harrison with it for this foul. Fast break. Four on two. Harrison. Harrison put up himself. He missed it. Stanton got it back. Stanton shooting two. Second team foul on St. Paul. Shot, got it. Second shot here, put Gerstel up four, and he does. Stan looking good so far. Six points for him. 120 here left in the first. Follow me to read. Swings it. Swings it back. Wide open. But follow me from way downtown. Stand out on him. Carpenter smashed the board. Seconds left in the first. Stanton. Stanton looking to drive. Gives it up. Couldn't get the finish. And it's going to stay with this towel. Falling out of bounds. And the ball itself wasn't out. But then when it tapped the hands, it did. Gerstow will get it back. Swings it over. Carpenter looking to shoot the three. Rolled it down. Shot clock, game clock, about a 12 second difference. Smart time out there, I think, by Coach Thompson. So it's going to be 33.1 left in this 30 second timeout. And 20 seconds on the shot clock for Gustel to get working. Get it back. Takes it back over Carpenter.
Pull up. Season two. Coming under line, shoot the baby. Thirteenth foul against St. Paul's because Tell has caught an unscathed at the foul. First shot, front of him. Second shot here. Got it. 15 10. Shot clock is off. Reed. Stokes sits it back. Way long distance. He fakes. Ooh boy. Five, four, three. And a bell out there. First team foul against Gersell. Lily, 4.4 seconds left in the quarter. So Stokes will inbound. They're catching shoot type of situation. Inside, off the glass, no good. Singing lead at the buzzer. We're not there. After one, Chris Tell, the two seed in this situation, the defending B Conference champion, up five, 15 to 10, over St. Paul's here in the first quarter, going into the second. We thank you again for watching us here on the Dice Running really Network. Check us out on the Twitter and Instagram at Dice Running and on our official Facebook page, Dice Sporting Network. And of course, right here. Subscribe today, right here on the Dice Running Network. Check us out. Got a whole archive of games from this season and the past couple seasons as well. We have a little tricklets from past events as well. So go down your marker, go down the list. Check out the Dice Running Network today. On all social media platforms. Second quarter of this B Conference Championship game of the 24th in my A B Conference title game here at Hartford Community College. Very nice facility here in Upper Eastern Maryland. And quarter about to get going. St. Paul's. We'll get it to start off. Leo Kelly will run down the ball. Side to read. Turns it over. Fakes it. That's a three from the sophomore. Again, he hits. Anthony Smart off. We got a two point game. 15 13. But did not go. Waldorf got it off a of trotter. Reed back to Smart off. Reed inside. Missed it to offensive rebound. And one. Oh, Ziggy Reed. Did not want the senior partnered in. With tied at 15, free throw pending for the top city St. Paul's to take the lead for the first time in this Got Keeping his dribble back inside to Kelly. Save, but no avail. Kelly gets it for St. Paul. Over to Smaldor. Kelly. Off the knee of Carpenter. The ball's going to stick and stay with the Crusaders. Oh. 
he was looking to shoot that one inside. Second chance goes in there. Buffalo again. 18-15 game. Tuck it over and Stanton did. No, top of the trumpet, but it is turned over there. Stanton the pop enough, and it went out. Nice driving, trying to keep it, but St. Paul's up three here. First lead in the contest for them. Reed from downtown. Back on this. Oh, balls everywhere. Offensive rebound. Then he was taken away by Harrison. Stanton. Reversal. No good. Tried it everywhere. Tried to get it to the Crusaders. Tried to pick it off. We got fouled. Fourteen foul against this foul. All of a sudden, this foul went from zero to four. Really? Sorry, that's the third team foul. I guess so. Reed swings it. Swings it again. Trotter. Kelly. The follow me. On off, wide open. Front end miss. Rebound to Harrison. And Stanton. Layup miss. And a foul. 14 foul in St. Paul. Inbounds. Carpenter. Carpenter swings over to Stanton. Back over to Thompson. Tell him. Doubled there. Inside the layup goes in. One o'clock. Reed. Fakes it, pulls up, and missed it there with Bartholomew. Back the other way. Carpenter lays it in and lays back to the pocket. What's going on here? Fifteen foul against St. Paul. Thompson, it up. Harrison. One point game, very entertaining one. Inside, blocked away. Kelly. To Reed. Reed going all the way. He traveled. The Falcons get it back. Off the tunnel. Cal keeps it on their end. 3-12 left in the half. What a game this one has been so far between 
These two for the B Conference Championship. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound to Kelly. Swings it. That's a three. Spin out. Back comes the Boston Harrison now from Carpenter. Dishes. And the layup goes to Kelly. The ball. Lily. As hot that was, go out the gym. And it's back in now. Inside, Reed missed the two. Out of bounds, it's going to go back to Gerstel. 2.16 left. Stanton, Thompson, Carpenter. Stanton, Telly. Stanton again, blocked away. Bartholomew says no. Small off. 150 left in a half. Reed. Kelly. Three ball for Bartholomew. Tipped and miss. Offensive rebound. Kelly won. Kelly has got it. If I follow me, I got the end one. If he hits a free throw, we're tied at 21. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Eighteen left in the half. Carpenter will be shooting three here. Carpenter, the first one to take the lead back. Hits it. Shot. Hits it. One more to take a three point lead. Hit them all. 24 21. Kelly takes it to Reed. Right at the one minute mark. Kelly swings it to Kelly. That was a long pass. Small off. Off the screen. Reed lost it. And a foul. 17 foul against St. Paul. Yeah, 
Second shot is in. Five point lead for the Falcons. Half time, approaching. Ooh, what a screen. What a screen. Spin move to try to he walked. Nice defense there by this child on that end. Twenty-six, twenty-one. Shot clock, game clock, about a second and a half difference between the two. Thompson, back over to Carpenter again. Carpenter, eight, seven, six, five, Harrison, off the knee, turned over. And St. Paul's, trying to cut the lead somewhat. 5.2 left for the half. Five, four, Three, two, and that's halftime. And after half, Durst tells about five, trying to repeat as the B Conference champion. 26 21. Stick and stay for the 24th MIA B Conference Championship game, second half coming at you. Second half, about to get underway. Durst tell a pretty good first half, all times considering. And they are up by five to repeat as the MIA B Conference champion here in Maryland. Is that St. Paul's? Trying to get that seventh title. They won the first two ever and won one, two seasons ago. Spin move by Thompson. Gets away, gets the road. Oh, nice drop. 28-21 third quarter underway. Thank you for joining us here on the Dodgeway Network. Back at the NIA. It's been a couple year absence for us. Swings it. Big City. Back the other way. Carbon up behind his back. And he's shooting two. Two shot foul coming up here for the senior. He's had him at the end of the season. To come. First shot goes. Jim Sawyer first shot missed, I'm sorry. So one of two. This is 30 21 of faith. Randolph inside the read. He kicks it back over. Another chance. That's a three. Nowhere close. There yeah, for more. Harrison. Carpenter. Stanton. Stand from downtown. Hits it all back. Girl, I stand. 33 21. Burst fell. Trying to repeat. The MIA B Conference champion. Shout out by the Crusaders. Don't like how to wait the third quarter. Shout out to them. 33 21. Here for Gerstel. And check out the Flex Zones spinoff show. The spinoff show, of course, is Goofy Central. And Goofy Central now, season one in the archives on the YouTube channel as well as on Dive Sporting Next. This is 
Thanksgiving on the Facebook channel as well as on YouTube at the Flex Zone One. The third line between Goof and Great. Make sure you're not on the wrong side of it. Right now for St. Paul's, they're trying not to get too far behind in this one here. But the pace right now has been just tells throughout the first half and open up the second half here. Kelly back over. Over, Reed pulls up, spins up, offensive rebound goes in the ball. He puts the two ends. 33, 23. Now Stanton brings it up. Over the top on it. In the zone, Harrison in the middle of it, spin down on him. Kelly with the rebound. And over to Sterndorf. Bovalami, Reed, hits the three. He's there. The Saders on the inch of it. Carpenter. Comes it back over. Back over to Carpenter again. Pull up jumper by Harrison. Off the back. Kelly trying to get the rebound. Could not. St. Paul gets the <laughs> So Reed brings it up. 33-26 game. Pick City. Can Harrison take advantage? He cannot. Ball's going to stay with St. Paul's to catch a break there. Off the turnover. Outside! <laughs> and one! Well, follow me. Got the drop. If he can hit the free throw, it's a four-point game. Rolls in. 29-33 game. And all of a sudden. Over, swings it inside. Couldn't get up on reversal. Ball sticking and staying with their cell. Six seconds on the shot clock. 402 left on the game clock here. Got a time out here, I don't know if it's a, uh, look like it's an official's timeout. So they're trying to see who knocked the ball out last. They on the die, so they never check out a February run to the playoffs. We're going to have a playlist of the IAM Baltimore City Championship and our February run to the playoffs series coming up here before the month is out here in March. So. 
You can always click back and check a look at that. We also have a playlist when the season ends of certain teams we've covered more than several times this year, at least more than four times. A nice playlist so you can go down and check out teams of reference of this season. One of them will be Gerstel. This is our fifth time getting them, so we will have them in that playlist. St. Francis will be another. Patterson as well. We'll have those teams in our playlist here on the Dye Sporting Network as well. You can always check out some of our playlists, including the um, Baltimore Hoops Festival and others as well. So, so of course, they're still trying, to, still trying to check out what's going on. I'm actually on the other side of the referees here. Let's see what we have. The first towel will keep it. I can confirm first towel will keep it. That's the good news. The bad news is there's only six seconds left on the shot clock here. Six seconds left. Be a full one, by the way. So is that 35 and a pick? More picked it off. With 3:56 left in the third. Reed back over to Bavolami. Reed got it back. Here comes Ziggy. Bavolami looking for the sophomore. He got him now. Condor back over to Kelly. Reed, 12 on the shot clock. Reed, double team. Reed gives it up. Moore, lost it. Harrison with it. Harrison gets away. Numbers not in his favor though. Harrison takes it in anyway. He's shooting two. He was real close to getting and one. Real close. Just did not spin in for him. St. Paul's ranked. 20th in the Boston Sports Net poll. The shot did not go. Did not go. Foggy here as we're taping this on Sunday. Sun that likes coming out. Wind. Wind and more. So, uh, cold them all. Second shots from now. For the rebound over the ball ball. Right over the rebound. Bondo. Swings it back over. Swings it over again. Another chance. Still a four-point game. Back over to Spondor. Inside of Bartholomew. Kelly. Kelly with the dish. He tried to anyway, but it got turned off. Carpenter. Stanton. Layup is good. Layup goes in. Reed with it. Off the crossover. Reed inside. Didn't get it. Back over to Gerstel. Stanton. Carpenter. To three. Hits it. Hands bucket by the senior. Time out by Gerstel. And the Chiefs calm. 38-29 game. Lead back to nine. 231 left here in the third.
against it. Over. Siggy for three. That one tipped the mess. Offensive rebound. Back over to Bartholomew. He didn't get it. Back over to Tully and back to Gostel. Harrison brings it up. Gostel. Still a quarter away from repeating as the MIA beat Hoffman champion. Inside, off the hands, and St. Paul gets the break there. Hook shot, didn't go. Oh, rebound, bat it. Reed, back over, gets it in. Carpenter. Thompson back to Carpenter. from downtown. Tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Thompson the first half. Up. <coughs> Third quarter looming large to a close here. That's a three. Front and miss. Rebound back over to Bartholomew. Reed. Off the screen. Kelly. Inside. Push off against Gerstel. That's their second team foul. Second team foul. Back over. Swings it again. Back over to Reed. Another chance. That's a three. That one back in miss. 18 seconds left as Carpenter brings it back out for good step. Harrison got to do something with it. He traveled. 3.8 left. And a traveling call. Three. Stolen! Can he get it at the buzzer? He does! Ben gets it in at the buzzer. What a layup after three. Gerstel looking to repeat it. Beat Coffin Champions. They're up nine. 40 to 31. They're trying to repeat again. After this one. One of the MIA and BCL's biggest rivalries. We'll take center stage again at the MIA's. St. Francis and Mount St. Joe's meet up. For the first meeting between these two and the MIA's in about four years. And we will have that matchup for you on the Dice Ray Network coming up after this B Conference Championship game. Mount St. Joe's have beaten St. Francis twice this season. And it's the third time the MIA A Conference Championship as both teams was denied a year ago in this building back to get here. Mount St. Joe's was here two years ago and beat Mount Kelmo. It was John Kell, not too far away from here actually, up against Boys Latin. And the Patriots with that loaded team of Mario Quickly and Mathis. So many loaded kids got and won the MIAA Conference, but this year, it's a familiar game, familiar rivalry for the third time this season. We'll see it for the first time this year. The Dyson Network coming up. Right now, St. Paul down nine, the top seed here, and they're trying to get their second title in three years. A good tell. Holding on to the crown top. That's Murdoch. Brings it back. Kelly really had a time there. Ball following me with it. Now to Reed. Reed inside. He shoots. Two-shot foul coming up. 
Top to goes on and Day Han for the game. First shot, front end. Second shot, spin down. Carpenter with it. Harrison, inside, he lays it in. Lead back to double figures for the Falcons. <laughs> Off the screen, Pick City. Stanton with it, all the way. Missed it. Tapped out to stay with first Calibre. It will, 708 left in this one. Here. Jumper, got it in there. 44 31. Picked off, Carpenter, all alone. Plays it in. This foul, looking good to repeat. Biggest lead for them right now, 15 point lead. 46-31. Oh man. As they say this. Looking in their favor. 638 left. Ooh, man. What a game. We're in control of pace by Gers Tao from the beginning to end right now. It has been their type of game. I got asked Coach Thompson earlier before we came up to start the broadcast. He also told me that some tough games that he had early in the year helped the other teams too, no question about that. And we've seen that early in the year when they take Loyola, kept it close. We've seen him play City and won that one. And we've seen him at Mount St. Joe's give them a, a headache early in the game. And Emerson, that big thing, how, how huge is that game? You look back at it now. Be confident, seven gets an upstart Emerson team, but then Emerson made the run to the city championship game. Game you've seen right here on the Dodge Spring Network. Back to game action. 6.33 left. And this one. St. Paul's got to make a run. They got to do it now. Going off. Back over. Try to. Try to. Pick City. Back. Oh, bottom. Oh, a feet work. He traveled. He couldn't keep the feet work in for long. Props to him for the hustle, man. He just wasn't able to keep his feet up and in. So the ball back to Gerstel, 6-10 left in this one. Right now, it's their pace, it's their type of game, and they're in control of it. Back over Telly. Inside, he's shooting for it. It's only the third team foul against St. Paul's. Believe it or not, fouls have not been an issue here in the second half. Actually, has not been an issue in the game, really. Very clean, appreciate the game. Make a make play a lot more smoother. First shot. Fifteen point lead for the Falcons. Six 
Second shot is in. 47-31. Oh, look out. That's a three. Here's one. Time out by St. Paul. Got it within 13. So 541 left in this one. A huge three there. St. Paul's hanging, hanging in there, as they say. Gets it, Harrison. Thompson now. Carpenter has it. Back over to Harrison. Back over to Thompson. That's the Carpenter, excuse me. Picked off. Spread off. And now he gets picked back. Harrison, oh! Blocked from behind the foul. Fourth team foul against St. Paul. First shot here from Harrison. No good. Second shot here. Try to give Gerstel 14 point lead. Spin down. Both of them did not go. 47-34. What a game here. St. Paul's though can really make it entertaining if they can hit a couple buckets here. The sophomore miss. Reed Steph puts it back in. Swings, Thompson, Telly, Carpenter, Dagger, it is one. A dagger shot at the Anthony Carpenter. Fifty thirty six. Sixteen point fourteen point advantage this season. Kelly almost got it turned, snapped for him. Ball's gonna stick and stay with the Crusaders on their end of the court. Still gonna stay with St. Paul. The first spend out. And one. Is there? There's more thought for that one. He fought hard for it too. More at the line. And the shooting two here. That's a shooting one, excuse me. The end one spin down. Oh! Behind the back. There's no question. No question about it. 16 foul. Double team. Back over. Pull up by Thompson. No good. Offensive rebound. Spins out. 
Harrison still got it. The ball. So Harrison out of the inbounds. Before 11 left in this one. Kelly. Kelly, offensive foul. Charge. Bardorf all the way off the glass high, no good. Reed that got the offensive rebound. That ball stayed in the same ball, no doubt about it. 356 left in this. Three ball. Hits it. Go for me with another long distance three. We're down to second digits now. 50 to 41. Breaks it. Now let's go. Shot foul. First shot. Ooh, stink out. 17 foul, by the way, on St. Paul's. One one, the fact that this foul was. Harrison wasn't able to finish. Reed slams it down. Seven point game. St. Paul has gotten back in it. It has time. Fully run out. They gotta get a stop right here. And then Gustav's case, they gotta get a bucket right here. Carpenter for three. Hits it big time. Big time by the singer. Two his buckets in this fourth quarter. 53 43. Bartholomew inside. He's shooting two. He's got foul coming out. 16 foul can just tell one more. It'll be the one and one in effect. For the Crusaders. First shot. Spin down. In there. Third time that ball's got stuck in the hoop. And it just don't want to come out. 53-44 is a nine-point lead here. <coughs> Carpenter has hit some amazing buckets here in the court. Stanton. 2.30 left in this. Back over to Carpenter. Shot clock at 10. Over the stand. Seven, six, five, four. Got to do something. Three. Three for Thompson. The corner. He hits it. Up after his bucket. Fifty-six, six, forty-four. Thompson to the St. Paul's reclaiming the B-Conference championship. It's slipping away rapidly. Now let's call. That's a 17 foul. Ziggy Reed. Coming to shoot at one and one at the line. Wow. Right at the two minute mark of this. What a game. And St. Paul's has fought hard to stay within striking distance, but as we said earlier in the quarter, the timing. Yeah.
referees are looking again. Another official timeout, right at the two minute mark. 56-44 in this one. <coughs> like we said, coming up, St. Francis and Mount St. Joe's here on the Live Show Network. Stay tuned for it. Coming your way. Postseason here on the National Next Day to come to BCL. Semifinals and final coming your way next week on the Dyes Playing Network. Coming at you from Loyola University. And that should be good. The MPSSAA throughout the playoffs the next week. And then finally down at Infinity Center. Hopefully we can bring you full game action of the one a 2 a 3 a Hopefully, if not due to restrictions, we're going to bring a highlight package up. We'll be there for it <coughs> here on the Dodge 20 Network. Reed at the line. First shot. Got it. Got it. Trying to make it a 10 point game. That one in there. Carpenter back to Telly. Double team. Staten got it off the flip somehow. This is it right here for St. Paul. One forty left. Inside Telly. Staying with Bristol. 135 left. 11 seconds on the shot clock. 135 left on the game clock. Timeout. I think it was a wise one too by Coach Tom. The Bristol team. 135 left. 56. 46 game, the NRB Conference Championship game, the 24th MIA Championship here. Off at Community College, very nice area. Like I said, it was foggy coming in. The weather has cleared up. The wind is going to pick up later as both sides of the bend coming in for this huge MIA Conference matchup. Last year, time, Mount St. Joe, St. Francis played each other. Postseason play was last year. Seen here. Dice Run Network in the BCL Championship game. And St. Francis is able to claim that title. And the winner, as Mount St. Joe's road to that will be a little more difficult, I think, than St. Francis in the BCLs next week. The MIA one, we will talk about it during our telecast. Road at McDonough Mount St. Joe's game. What a magnificent match. We did the last two playoff games between the two outside of this year. And they was good last year, and it came down to the buzzer this year. And St. Francis, their two, their two wins since their last defeat, two Mount St. Joe's, thing rolling. Folks, and I mean rolling through them. That was their Christian and boys Latin respectfully. So. That inside, Telly. And he fouled. He is fouled. He's going to have to shoot the one-on-one. -on -one. One thirty three left. In and out. Back over. Reed, doubled, Kelly, Kelly, he's doubled, Moore, Bartholomew moves a three, he hits it! Time for the game now, 117 left. Bartholomew with a big shot and a timeout by St. Paul. Oh, like we said, it's a seven point game, not quite over yet, folks. This is not over yet. Thank you for checking.
checking out the Dinosaur Network. Hope you enjoyed Lake Clifton and Patterson from our run to the playoff series. We got one more game in that run to the playoff series coming your way. We'll talk about that game during the Mount St. Joe St. Francis game. Not a conference matchup. Use for playoff seating. Back to game action here. Chris Tao now. Referees trying to make sure the folks inside here not having that. Do we have a foul? Wow, Let's see what we got here. Referees stop it again. Tennessee was that not a uh, situation where the teams is jousting for the ball before the inbounds. Well, it's kind of an uh, unofficial time. Our both teams have set up what they want to do. They're out of it. Time out now. The officials time out anyway. Warning both coaches again. You know what can cannot happen. Stanton back to Carpenter. Under there, Stanton. Paul's not trying to foul yet. They know they might have to soon. On to the back. Blocked away. Ball stays with this one. 105 left in the game. 24 seconds left on the clock. Shot clock, that is. Carpenter. Staten in by the return. At the foul, Kelly does. One more one on one in effect. 101 left. And a year with St. Paul's swept Gerstel in the regular season, both of their meetings. Gerstel able to get ready. Now they are 61 seconds away from winning the MIA B Conference title for a second straight season. Yeah, back in the game, seeing much on this one so far. First shot goes. What an amazing game he has had today. He has been magnificent. Hitting big shots for Gerstow, second shot spin down. One of two. Eight point game. Reed, time is not his, his friend right now. Gotta get something going. Reed for three. Hits it. Here's three. Five point game. He stepped out. He's out of bounds. Wow. He was out. And a foul. Got away with one there. He, he was, he was oh, yeah. Kevin Durant there. See some of the Mount St. Joe's faithful in the house. First shot, no good. There for Staten. St. Paul's door. Back 
door still open for him. Second shot in there. Seven fifty-two. Reed. They gotta throw it up. They gotta put a three up here. Tipped and missed. Offensive rebound. Moore couldn't finish it. Back over. Foul is called. Chris Cowell, twenty-three point three left. Looking to celebrate the repeat of the MIAB Conference Championship. No good. Second shot didn't go. Back over. Reed for three. Tipped and miss. Offensive rebound by it. Moore. Out of the run. 58-54. Four-point game. That's the good news. The bad news is for St. Paul's time is definitely not their friend here. Number one coming down to the wire, but you just tell enough to hang on to win the B Conference Championship for a second straight season. I will tell you definitely this one was tougher than that first one. St. Paul is over the foul limit. This tell He's only committed eight fouls. He still has a foul to get the one and one if they need so. I doubt they will. Second shot cut this lead to a one possession game. No good. Tried to miss it so they can get it back. Gerstow gets it back. 14.8 left. And this could do it right here. Carbon up. Foul immediately. And about two seconds off the clock. Yeah, that's the one guy you probably don't want to foul. Spend out the second one. Got to go up fast. Ten, nine. Picked off. Got him fouled again. 
Seven seconds. First foul. Repeating. Not sure who's a part of the uh, Maryland Independent School Tournament. We try to mount a tour in it. We'll try to get some clarification for you as soon as tomorrow. Bounce on that one out of shot. That one didn't go. That's going to do it. St. Paul, dream of repeating. That's not repeating, excuse me. Winning two out of three years will not happen. The Paul dream of repeating is a reality. Second championship in a row for the Gerstow Academy Parkins. The B Conference stays in Pittsburgh. Fifty-nine, fifty-six is your final. St. Paul had a great season. But it's going to come to an end in 19 and 9. Just tell. Winning their 20th game this year. And they're going to win a 20th. The big conference that means ship for a second straight year. Gotta love it. Trophy going back up to Finsburg for a second straight season. This might be just how last game in the B conference. Never know, maybe making a move to A. How about it? Always good to see. 20th win this season for Gerstel. They're not in the Maryland Independent School Tournament. This season we're in at 20 and 13, the state. All right, that season's going to roll on. The 2019 MIA Maryland B Conference Champion, Gersta. What kind of one more matchup? The A Conference game. You know it. You know the rivalry. You know the matchup. It's St. Francis. It's Mount St. Joe's. It's coming up in the Dice Wayne Network. Stick and stay right. This is Die Sporting Network. What? What?